time, I'm very happy to see you guys. So this video I'm talking about, uh, I want to talk about is contour integration. Uh, so yeah, so uh, I have a video list that basically compute a lot of so-called contour uh, integral examples in the uh, in a complex analysis. But the most of them, uh, uh, up to now, there's no uh, video contains the long of x, right? So now we want to do some uh, more exotic uh, integration. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, I will leave link, uh, this link below if you do uh, want to learn more like the other uh, complex analysis video. Especially, yeah, I think we will use this one. Okay. So yeah. So before I start, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay. So I don't want, want to waste you guys' time. So let's start. Uh, yeah, if you're smart enough, right? May maybe there's a, another. I, I think there's a other way to solve this problem, right? But in this video, uh, we use the complex analysis. Okay, so the the main tool is the residue theory, and uh, the Cauchy theory, and also uh, plus some error analysis. So basically, this is the uh, simple analysis in the, like the advanced calculus that you need to bound the, the sequence. Uh, you bound bound the function. Okay, so let's start. Uh, uh, I think this is trivial. Okay, so let's see. Let's define f of z to be long z divided by z squared plus one squared. Right, this is the common sense. Right? Okay, so let's start. Okay, so this is uh, z. Okay, and uh, let's pick a uh, contour integral like uh, like uh, this one. Oh, so let's uh, see. This is R. This is a small circle. Yeah. So yeah, this is our contour integral. Let's define some points. Let's say this is A, B, C, D, E. Okay, and uh, the radius is R small uh, radius epsilon, and uh, you. Uh, notice one uh, one thing that there's long x right so I need to you need to plot uh, there's a there's a uh, branch point at, at zero right so you should at the infinity so you need you should plot a branch cut right but in this problem that since our contour is in upper right so I can choose a branch cut like this so nothing will happen okay so by uh, your rules you know that uh, your a b plus uh, b c uh, sorry uh, just b d right plus d e plus e a f d z will be the two pi i residue right and then we will take epsilon to zero r goes to infinity so the only point is here right then you put okay so residue of z equals i okay so now uh, we just uh, write down everything we have and uh, see uh, where this will give us the beautiful answer Okay, so let's do the first part, A, B. So A, B is a trivial one, right? A, B just X. So you're, you're, and then you take R to infinity, epsilon go to zero. So your F of Z, D, Z will just become a long X divided by X squared plus one squared zero to infinity. This is what we, what we want for A, B, right? Let's say uh, second is B, D. Okay, so B, D, uh, B, D is also uh, simple, right? B, D. Is a uh, BD is what is a is a circle right hemi circle semi circle so z equals to uh, r exponential i theta from zero to pi and then we just plug it right so this is a numerator a, demo, a numerator and then the, this is denominator right so we get the uh, and the dz dz right so dz gives you Okay, notice that uh, this is what, if you just see the r, the power of r, you get the r, long r, divided by r to the fourth, right? So this is long r divided by r cubed, so which goes zero, okay? As r goes to infinity, very simple, right? Because long, actually long r is less than r, right? So this is less than one over r squared. Okay, so bd is zero, let's just e e erase it. Right, so we, we don't care about this. Let's say de. Okay, so de is another problem that basically now your x, your z should be equal to x, right? Uh, but the start from uh, minus r to minus epsilon. But notice, notice, uh, this is not uh, not not so simple. 
The reason is that、uh, you need to there is a take loan.、Uh, there is a part you take loan here. So usual loan cannot take the negative,、uh, negative function. So actually, you 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 should define a. So this is a very crucial part. You should define your z to be x times e i pi, right? And x should start from zero. Ah,、uh, sorry, should start from、uh, neg the r to epsilon, right? Because z now z should be uh pa uh negative. So now uh your f z d z will be r uh epsilon, and uh so it's long uh x plus i pi divided by Z square is still x square, right? square, and the、uh, dx right, but there is a minus sign here. Okay, so this is the 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 crucial part. Okay, so I mean, I guess many people、uh, write this uh, uh make a mistake at this part. Okay, so now I take epsilon to zero, r goes to infinity, and I I I can take this minus sign to to flip, right? So I get this to flip the integrand, so I get zero to infinity. Minus i pi, right? Minus i pi. Okay, and、uh, if you see uh see this video, uh I I already proved that one divided by x square plus one square from zero to infinity answer will be pi divided by four. Okay, so this is the results that、uh, we uh hope we must use. Okay, so hmm, let's see. Uh yeah so yes it's plus right because I ch only change the integral. Okay so this should be the answer what we need. Dx plus uh i pi and the、uh, pi over four. So I will leave the link below so you guys can check. Okay so now finally uh we need to take the the fourth part right the fourth part is a small epsilon circle. So this is epsilon i theta, and I don't want to waste you guys time. If you see that the numerator, uh, will be long epsilon, right? And the denominator will be epsilon square plus one, right? But epsilon now epsilon is small, right? So it become and then you have dx, dx which is a、uh, epsilon, right? So when epsilon close to zero, then this is uh approximates epsilon long epsilon. So uh we are asking about why is uh why is this, right? Epsilon go to zero, epsilon divided by long ep uh times long epsilon. And、uh, you can write it as a、uh, this. Okay, and、uh, so the numerator, if you plot epsilon to be zero, then this this guy will be infinity, and this guy will be negative in infinity. So you can use the Lapito rule, right? Right. So your Lapito rule computation gives you minus epsilon. When epsilon goes to zero, they become zero. So the fourth part. Uh, z equals to、uh, this small circle part will also give you zero, so we don't care. Okay, so now、uh, we just combine everything. So combine the first the the two arc, we get two zero infinity long x x square plus one square dx plus i pi square divided by four equals to two pi i. Uh, residue, right? Residue, uh, as z equals to i, f of z. Okay, so uh, finally, uh, we just need to compute the residue of of z equals to uh, let's say i, right? And then we I already know what I already know. This is a second order, right? So I should use a residue formula that I times uh z minus i square and、uh, take the derivative and then plus z equals to i. Okay, so uh, easy exercise. The answer will be uh pi divided by two plus i divided by four. Okay, so this is uh okay. Let's see. Maybe maybe okay. So let's let me just uh do it for you guys. Yeah. So this video I should contains everything. <laughs> so you just compute this, you get this, right? And then you just do the differentiation. Let's see. So you get z plus i to the fourth z plus i square long z. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, should should do the differentiation with uh with respect to z. So you get this, and also uh two z plus i, and the plug your uh z equals to i. So the the least part is two i four, and then the numerator is uh minus four times one over i, minus long i. Okay, so long i uh is long exponential i pi divided by two.
right? So it's i pi divided by two times two times uh, two i. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, what 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 will we get? Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Yeah. So you see, uh, this is sixteen, right? And uh, four i. Uh, so right. So minus two i is plus plus. Let's see. Okay, so it's plus two, two pi. Right. So the answer should be uh, yes. You divide by four, you get this. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh. Yeah, yeah, uh, should be two, right? Because this is total. Yeah, so it's the same as this. Okay, so yeah. Now uh, let's clean uh, this table and then do the final step. Okay, so now uh, now we get to zero to infinity. Long x x squared plus one square dx plus i pi squared divided by four equals to two pi i. As we already compute, is pi divided by two plus of i divided by four. So uh, you don't need to do any computation, right? You know this must uh, i power must cancel, right? Because this is must be some real number. So you get infinity. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, I'm stupid. Sorry, I, I I do things too fast, right? So so your answer must be uh, your two pi i times pi divided by four plus i divided by four, right? So you you know that the the this part this this part times will be get some i right so your imaginary part should must be must disappear right so these two must cancel so your final uh your final answer should be zero to infinity long x divided by x squared plus square divided by x squared plus one square dx will be uh this part right so minus two pi divided by four plus divided by two Okay, so very tedious. The answer is a minus pi, a negative pi divided by four, right? So final answer. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe in other in other videos that I will uh give you guys more uh, easy solutions. Yeah, but this is the complex uh complex analysis uh solution for this one. Okay, see you guys next videos.